Well, good morning. So this morning we're, uh, we're up on the central coast, uh, just north of Sydney. Um, it's about an hour's drive north of Sydney. This is the Hawkesbury River. Such a gorgeous spot. Um, there is a, an outgoing tide right now, which is supposed to be low tide at 8 o'clock and it's 6.30 right now. But there's an enormous swell at the moment because there's a, a big storm going on uh, offshore. So what we're doing is we're just trying to catch um, some sunlight coming over the horizon, some waves coming up on the rocks here. We've got the island in the middle just to give us some distant uh, interest. And, and as I was doing in the last video down at Marubra, if you saw that, was I'm trying to catch some flow and the waves here as they wash in and out the rocks. So we're just waiting on a wave to come up at this platform below me, and then we'll get a shot. Um, right now I'm at half a second and the shutter speed. So let's just see if we can get a wave to come up, wash up here, and as the wave recedes back into the ocean, we'll take the shot and try and get some movement on it. Here we go. This one may not be big enough. It's not quite. Oh, there's a bit of foam here. We've had some big waves that have been coming up actually to my feet and uh, at one stage the camera got a soaking. Thank goodness this camera's got a bit of uh, waterproofing. You can see this uh, coming up here. Here we go. Here's a decent sized wave now. What I've got to be careful of is the wave doesn't actually come over the camera. So we're going to come up here. We're going to get some movement as it flows back into the ocean and take the shot. You can see these nice patterns here. Here's another big one. So it's quite nice because I've got this, uh, this bowl in front of me that sort of gives me some, uh, some nice foreground interest. There's a, a line in the, in the rock here, just down here. And that line is sort of giving you some, uh, something for the eye to follow. Anyway, let's put that shot up and uh, see what you think. Again, so what we're going to do is uh, take a walk along the uh, the rock platform and just see what else we've got here. There's uh, there's some action going on here. This is all really wet. You can see where the tide has been uh, hitting this platform, and uh, it's still coming up. You got to be careful. We tend to wear these uh, rock shoes with uh, spikes in them uh, and I haven't slipped once since I bought them a few months back. Such a good investment. I'd recommend it for anyone that's going to be anywhere near the sea taking shots. Just want to have a look around here because there's, there's quite a bit of action. The sun's coming up over the horizon. Maybe we could set up here and just have a look at this. You can see there's quite a bit of movement going on. Let's see if there's a shot here. Okay, so we've got another composition here where we're just trying to shoot this little channel here. Sun's just coming over the horizon. All we need is a wave to hit this rock. We've got the island on the right. We've got some leading lines in the rock here to lead your eye across to the island. All we need is a wave before the sun gets too high. I'm at half a second shutter speed, F9. I'm actually just going to go to manual focus so the, the camera doesn't have to hunt for focus. And we're just waiting for a wave to come in and break over these rocks right in front of us here. Here comes that sun. Now would be a good time. Here comes our wave. There was a very big swell forecast this morning and we had it, but I think it's kind of died down now. That wave's no good. Sun's getting higher. Here we go. This is going to wash in here. Here we go. Very nice. Take a shot there. J 
just as the wave starts to clear the rock and you get some uh, some of the rock showing through the water. Okay, let's see how that one looks. You know what, the, uh, the central coast has just so many photogenic landscape photography locations. Uh, it's an incredible place, so I'm just going to take a walk along this uh, rock ledge. You can see the sun is now up, there's no cloud in the sky, so we haven't been uh, particularly lucky with a, a good sky this morning. So, a few jellyfish that have been uh, washed up by the, by the high tide, it was a very high tide. Um, now this is interesting, just come across this pool of water, nothing in the sky, so unfortunately there's nothing to, uh, to reflect, but that would be very nice in a, in a galaxy situation or a, or a nice uh, colourful sky. Another jellyfish here, what a great location, look at this, uh, all these patterns in the rocks, such a good place. So we're just uh, coming to the next location here. Just want to see if there's anything happening in here. You can see how high this tide has been. Everything's covered in foam. And I'm getting ready to run. Hi. So, I've just walked along the, uh, the rock ledge here. I've just found another one that kind of looks a bit interesting. Found this little pool in front of us here. I got these really interesting tiny rock uh, puddles uh, in front of the camera. So I've set the camera up in a, in a portrait style here with the, the island in the background. Uh, I'm sitting at F10. I'm still at half a second and I'm still at uh, ISO 100. And what I've done is I've got a couple of these little pools in front of the camera just to, just to line up the shot a little, uh, just to bring balance to it. And the pool is dead center in the shot. So the camera is really tilted forward. Anyway, we'll take this shot and uh, I think it looks pretty interesting. Anyway, let's see what you think. So for those of you who managed to stick with the video for this long, uh, these couple of shots were taken just a week before uh, where we did a visit to the same location there and just got some really quite nice conditions. This one was a long exposure for about three minutes, a uh, nice little um, rocky ledge in front of us with uh, some nice drama in the sky. And then later we just moved along uh, the rock platform there, found another little location here with this gorgeous little uh, rock pool uh, with rock in the pool. Uh, again, some nice conditions in the sky and uh, just made for a nice uh, composition here as well. Anyway, a bonus uh, if you stay with it for this long. Okay, well that's it for another morning. Um, Sydney's uh, central coast always delivers. It's such a great place. Anyway, if, uh, if you like the channel, if you like the shots, um, subscribe, give it a like, do all that stuff. You know, you know how that works. We'll be out again uh, probably next week. Another location around Sydney. Um, hope to see you then. It's time for coffee. Have a good one. Bye now.